Welcome back to Candy's Art World. I'm Candy, and today I'm going to do a pair of chocolate covered cherries. I drew it out before starting to record because I needed some other footage downloaded off of the camera before I could fit any more stuff on. Um, but what I found is instead of trying to draw chocolate covered cherries, go ahead and pick out shapes and draw shapes. So instead of tackling a whole cherry or whole piece of chocolate, you look for shapes and you do the little shapes. And then you end up with something that looks pretty similar to what you're going for instead of being overwhelmed with a picture that you're trying to recreate that's my tip for drawing anyways um, look for shapes and it, it kind of goes the same way for when you're coloring in your work too instead of instead of just saying like this this is a chocolate marker it's called actual chocolate instead of thinking oh I'll just color it all in color in shapes and then you can blend it out and see what you end up with it usually turns out better than if you're just tackling it in a big chunk I'm gonna get a little scrap to test these colors because I think I think anyways for now I think I'm gonna try and do um, use my brush pens and possibly my Prismacolors at the same time um, but I think you have to start with the water-based uh, markers first before you go on to the color pencil because that's kind of got um, like a wax to it and wax repels water and these are water based so oops I'm doing that off camera there's the chocolate and this one is walnut And this one is coffee. So this one actually goes over here or somewhere in between. Use several different shades. If you got more shades, use more shades. Um, let's see. It's orange. This one looks like it might be kind of in the brown family. It's autumn red. Yep, that can go in the brown family. So let me put these in order. Did I swatched them. Walnut. I think this one's the walnut. Yeah. That way I know which color I'm grabbing first. Let's see, maybe this, what is it called? That's a little green, but it might be a good base color. Okay. Put that off to the side as a maybe. Um, let's start with the, let me check again. a lighter brown. But I am going to work with what I've got. start with the chocolate after all. Okay.
brush markers is you can get really fine lines too. They do actually have like little bristles at the end so they could end up splaying on you too and making it go out of the lines a bit. Oops, there's a little bit of pencil line right there. I think I'm going to go with that, that color after all. Let's check it on this. Yeah. Like I said, I'm going to be going over it with uh, color pencils as well. So it'd be nice to have more dimension.
so it might look a little bit like camouflage right now, but I think it'll end up working out. trying really hard to leave some white space as well. Okay. And then the cherry is going to be shades of red. Maybe um, a little bit of purpley. in and then I'll go back over with the red but that purple deepens it and pushes back the subject into the piece
and inside the chocolate covered cherry it's going to be really dark there but you don't want to jump straight to black I'm going to do a deep purple I think <clears throat> back there that says great purple and, uh, let's try it on the that doesn't look like a grape well it doesn't look like a cartoon grape Brown. That's what my eyes see, which might not be horrible. And this one is eggplant purple. It's a little too purple. It's Tiria. So now we can get our water brush and kind of blend out some of that.
work slowly to go around those white spots that you left. It's okay to get a little bit of color in them, so that way it's not a complete stark change, but you want to try your best to keep it white. Do not have our water paintbrush. Um, I do not have it soaking wet. Let's see, oops. I'm just getting the color off, and you really don't see the moisture. But if I squeeze it like that, then it brings down water into the brush. And when you use a lot of water, it moves the the ink more than if you didn't use that much water. And dry it back out a little bit. to end up being practically black so that's going to be like our darkest point of the piece but uh, That's what I wanted for the um, the cherry goo. I wanted some really light portions, so I didn't put the red on there and just used the water to blend it out. I'm not going to do it with all of the highlight spots. This one stays pretty bright, and that one stays pretty bright, but then that one has a red tint to it. Now I'm going to have to let this dry a bit and then come back and maybe add some more um, darker portions to the chocolate shade in a little bit because it's hard to differentiate this chocolate from that chocolate um, and then blend that out and start with the color pencil work. I'll be right back. Okay, I'm gonna try and work on the shading for this.
Now I'm going to use my water brush to blend out what we just laid down. going to wipe off the brush again so that way when I blend out the uh, shadowing it doesn't put the color from the chocolate covered cherries down onto it darker gray. Might have got too much water on it because it looks a little grainy now. But I'm not going to worry about it because I think we can get it uh, smoothed out in further layering. But now I have to let it dry again before I start on the color pencil. And I'm going to be using um, Prismacolor Premier. It is a 36 piece set. I will be back after this dries. Okay, now I'm going to add some color pencil to this piece. Um, I picked out some colors that I think I'll end up using. I've got, um, let's see, light umber, sienna brown, Tuscan red, dark brown, white, crimson red, a carmine red, mulberry, violet, and black. I think I'm going to start with this lighter shade of brown and see what that looks like over the top of this uh, 
marker over here. I think it's going to help smooth out the color. And as you can see, I uh, slightly rotate my pencil as I work. That ensures that it stays sharpened. I don't have to run it through the pencil sharpener as often because that takes away some pencil you don't want to you don't want to waste. I don't know if it's showing up on camera or not, but I see it smoothing out the marker uh, marker strokes, I guess you call it, where the two different stripes of marker connected or the same marker overlapped. It kind of helps smooth that out.
Okay, let's see what happens when we blend the color pencil with odorless uh, mineral spirits. I only use a little bit on the brush. I dab it in, see if you can see that. And then I push it off of the brush so where it goes back down into the little glass. I'm gonna try and use um, a very light amount this time because this is the first time I've used this with the markers. Um, and the markers are water-based, so I don't want to destroy that work. I'm going to try and go light. blend in um, around the, the shine, the highlights. I'm only putting more because the bristles um, on my brush kind of split apart. That is pretty vivid. Oh, I gotta get the the cherry blended out. See how that looks. And now I'm going to go into the deep dark inside of the chocolate cover cherry. dark really quick. Let's see if I can smooth this out a little bit more. I think I'm gonna go back to the markers and see if I can fix that um, shadowing. I think I'll just use the lighter or the lightest shade of gray 
and it's called Dolphin Grey. It does not look like the lightest shade of grey, but I think it is. <laughs> Smoke gray, let's see what that looks like. It's rather dark too. Um, this one is... Arma Gray. That's really blue. Maybe just using some water will help spread that out and make it a little bit less bold. It's ready for whenever I use it again. I think I'm going to let that dry and then maybe work on the shadowing with some color pencil too. I wanted to just leave it with the marker, but it doesn't seem to be cooperating the way I want it to. But I think it's looking pretty good right now. I'll be back in a little bit. Okay, I'm going to add a bit of white to the juice of the cherry. Oh, wow, this white color pencil shows up pretty well. Wow, I was not expecting that. It does break a little easier because they are a softer, a softer color pencil than what I'm used to using. 
but that's probably why it actually shows up. because that part doesn't have any any material on it other than just the paper. Except for the little edges around it where I blended. This is so cool. Then we can do some around the chocolate here when that shined to try to soften the edge a little bit more between the shine and the not shiny part. surprised at this white color pencil. I'm going to try and just clean up the shadow just a little bit with color pencil as well.
Now I'm going to blend it out with my uh, mineral spirits. I'm going to first test to make sure that the brush is clean. Get a white piece of the paper towel and you dip it in your mineral spirits and then run it on there to make sure that there's not hidden color in there. It looks like there's a little bit. There we go. I'm going to hit the white the insides of the white first before I uh, move out to kind of blend that that freshly laid white color pencil It's almost gone on that spot, but I didn't need it totally bright anyways. And let's try and blend out the chocolate shine. color pencil kind of gave it a little bit of a chalky look on the around part, around the shines part, but it's not really a big deal because you can lift that back up if you don't like that look. would be really good if you were trying to make foggy a foggy look okay now let's touch this black color pencil that we put in the shadow Overless Mineral Spirits um, brings that color to life. And makes it pop. I'm 
really, really pleased with how this turned out. It was so much fun to to make and to draw and to color it in. I really hope that you try this. I think you would have a blast trying. Um, I'm putting my color pencils back in their spots real quick. Okay. And then I will untape it and I will sign it. Let's see what it looks like with the tape gone. Think that turned out so awesome um, and this is a four by six um, watercolor paper it's a heavyweight canison um, it came in a big pad called it said it has an XL on it and it is a blue color um, the cover is a blue cover it had 30 sheets in it that uh, are 12 by 18 inches so you can get a big a big pad and then you can cut down to whatever size you want your project to be and now I will get a brown sharpie and sign it There we go. I do hope you enjoy watching. Don't forget to like, subscribe, leave a comment, and feel free to share if you want to as well. Have a great day.